Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mezon African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics info. That is uh, working on the Thevenin's theorem. We have got the question that you're going to consider uh, from the question paper of August 2016, where we are given to use the Thevenin's theorem to calculate the current flowing through the 15 ohm resistor in fig one below. All right, so you're given the fig one in this case, uh, that is uh, a bridge in this case. So this is a bridge. So you're supposed to apply or to use the Thevenin's uh, theorem in this case to determine the current indicated uh, as I3 that is across the 15 ohm uh, resistor. So how is it possible for us to obtain this? Remember, the stages that you're supposed to take under the Venice, uh, we are not going to uh, walk away from those stages. Even when we are dealing with uh, a bridge, we are still going to apply uh, the same concept. All right, so as we know, guys, we are supposed to remove uh, first, the, the load the resistor, which is where you are calculating the current. So the first stage is to remove that resistor. So we are going to remove our load resistor, which is RL, which is equivalent to 15 ohms, the one that we are calculating uh, its current. So that is uh, the 15 ohm. So we place this as A and B, the one that you are given. So we're just going to open in this case. So what, what, you, are, what you were actually supposed to, to have at the end is uh, if just imagine this removed here. So we are going to have this at this point uh, as our A. So this uh, point A that we see, it is going to be at this point. Uh, this, our point B is going to be at this point. So we are not having our B here. So this is what we are imagining having our A open at this point and B open. So this 15 ohm is no longer there. So by removing this, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to calculate uh, VTF at that moment. So we are supposed to calculate uh, VTF or ETF, depending with the, how you understand. Uh, that is uh, the Thevenin's voltage, which is uh, the voltage across A and B. How are we going to obtain this? If we check here, we are going to redraw. We are going to take our diagram uh, this way. With the 10 volt, I want us to have our diagram this way. Uh, we are going to have our 10 volt supply source, which is our source voltage in this case. Then the six ohm and the 12 ohm connected together. So these ones for the voltage, you are going to connect it this way. We have got the six ohm. This voltage is affecting six ohm and the 12 ohm together. All right, so we're going to apply this way. That is our six ohm and 12 ohm like this. All right, the same thing if you consider here, the same voltage is affecting 8 ohm and 10 ohms. So we're going to have our 10 ohms, our 8 ohm and 10 ohm on this side. So we're going to have our 8 ohm resistor and our 10 ohm resistor on the other side like this. So this is what you're going to have at the end. So meaning to say in between our connections, that's where we are having our A and B. In between our connections, we are having our A and B. So, and uh, our point is C and D in this manner. Again, we are going to have our C and D, which is not important. What we are, what we are worried about is this A and B. So if we are to check, we have got uh, our, we said our voltage source is not going to change 10, uh, 10 volts. Then here we've got six ohm and uh, uh, 12 ohms in this case. So that's our six ohms here, uh, 12 ohms and eight ohms and 10 ohms as they are. So that's our eight ohms here and your 10 ohms. So how can we calculate V there from this circuit? As you can see, it's now a simpler circuit that we are working with, okay. In order for us to obtain the voltage across A and B, we are going to work with these two resistors, the resistor of the 12 ohm and the resistor of the 10 ohm. We are going to calculate the voltage across the point AC and across the point BC, which is the same thing that you can use uh, from D, A and D, or uh, B and D. But you, all you need is to know how to use the, the size that you're working with. All right, so in this case, taking the voltage across AC in this case, I want us to check how you're going to have this. We are going to have the voltage across the point AC from our voltage uh, divider rule. So remember from our voltage divider rule, we can use the 
resistor that the one that you want to calculate the voltage across, which is across the 12 ohm resistor. So use this resistor as it is, which is 12 over these two resistors added together. So we add the resistors that are in this case. So like this is like a series connection. So we are going to add uh, 12 plus six multiplied uh, to the 12, uh, to the 10 volts, which is our supply. So we are going to obtain uh, the voltage across the point AC, which is something like uh, 6,66, uh, like that. So you round off to three decimal places, that will be six, seven uh, volts. So this is the voltage across the point AC. With the same knowledge or the same concept, we can calculate also the voltage across the point B and C. So we are going to have uh, the voltage across the point B, C which is now affected from the 10 ohm resistor. So we are going to take the 10 ohm resistor over the sum of the two resistors which are connected together, the eight and the 10. So we are going to add 10 plus eight times the supply voltage or source voltage of 10 volts. So this is going to give us something like a 5,5, uh, five, five like that, which is five, six volts. Uh, so this is the voltage across the point B and C. So to obtain the voltage across A and B, we are simply going to subtract the difference between these two. That will be the voltage across A, B, which is our V theft. So like I said, V theft is equal to the voltage across A, B, which is the difference between the two voltages that is going to be V, A, C minus V, B, C. So we are going to subtract uh, our voltages. So in this case, we have got our VTEV. Yes, it's a VAB, but as we are focusing on VTEV, so VTEV is going to be 6,66, the bigger voltage, minus the smaller voltage of 5,556. Uh, so this is going to be uh, something like 1,111 volts like that. All right. So this is your, your VTEV, which is the voltage that we are going to need on the uh, second, that is the final second, which is the equivalent second diagram of our thevenin. So in this case, we are going to just leave this as it is. What is the next stage? Remember that after finding VTEV, you are going now to remove the source. This time, you, you, you are going to short circuit, actually. This part, you short circuit uh, the voltage source. Then you calculate uh, RTEV. So in this case, let us uh, uh, have it this way. So let me uh, have it. So we are going to short circuit in this case. So we are going to short circuit uh, the 10 volt. By short circuit in 10 volt, uh, which is our voltage source, we are going to calculate RTEV. So at that moment, you calculate RTEV. All right. So uh, that is the concept that you are going to have. So if you check here, if this is now a short, a short circuit like this, if this is a short circuit, it means that these two resistors, the 6 ohm and the 12 ohm, according to the flow of current, this is what you're going to have. Our current is going to branch here. It branches into this branch, branches into this branch, and also branches into this branch. Meaning to say the current flowing across this point is not the same as the current across this point. So meaning to say these two resistors are considered in parallel. They do not have the same current. If they have the same current, then it means they're in series. But here they are not having the same current. So it means these two resistors are simply in parallel. Remember, we want to combine to find RTEV. So you're going to have these two resistors in parallel. That is the six ohm. So we are just going to have a connection like this uh, where we have got uh, our six ohm and uh, the 12 ohm in parallel. So like I said, we are having our two resistors, uh, the 6 ohm and the 12 ohm in parallel. We are talking about uh, the, the resistance across A to B. So that is our RTF. So here we are going to have our point A and uh, our resistance in this case, 6 and what? 6 and 12 ohms. So this is 6 ohms and we have got 12 ohms. Connected again, if we check according to the flow of current on these two branches, it's not the same. This current flows to this point, it branches to another current here. So these two, they are not in series, which means they are in parallel. So you're going to have another parallel combination, which is of the eight ohm resistor and the 10 ohm resistor together. So this is what you're going to have in this case. Uh, so we've got our eight ohm resistor and 
the 10 ohm resistor in this case. All right, so with this uh, idea, we understand this. This is going to be our point B, which is uh, because we're talking about the resistance in between. And those points C and D, they will be combined together at this point. So meaning the resistance that you're obtaining, which is the total resistance of this circuit, which is the resistance from A to B, is the resistance that represents uh, RFF in, in a, just like uh, VAB, the last part, it represented VDEV. So in this case, I'm saying RFF is simply the resistance across point A to B, which is a combination of this first parallel circuit and this second parallel circuit. So meaning to say, we are going to have the product over the sum. Remember, in the parallel uh, resistance, product over sum. So that's 6 times 12 over the sum, 6 plus 12. Plus, in this case, we combine these two again in parallel. So product over sum, that is going to be 8 times 10 over the sum of the resistors, which is 8 uh, plus 10 in this case. So this is going to be your RTF. So the first part is going to give us something like uh, 4, and the second part is going to be something like 4,4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and so on. So the three decimal place, that will be 4,4,4. Uh, 4, 4. So if we add 4 plus this part, we are going to obtain 8,4,4 4, 4 in ohms. So this is your RTF. So with this resistance that we calculated, which is our RTF, and with the VTEV that we calculated here, we are now going to combine a with the resistor that we first. Remember, we said we have got we have it we have to remove RL in this case, which is our load resistor. So now we are going to include this in our equivalent circuit. That is our Thevenin's equivalent uh circuit. Okay, so this is how you obtain your equivalent circuit. Uh, so let us just have uh, this part. So we are going to have equivalent uh, circuit. So our equivalent circuit is going to consist of the VTEV. So this is where you have your VTEV in series with your RTEV. So this is what you're going to have. Then you add or you connect in series that part that we removed, which is AB. So we are going to combine with AB and take note it was just one resistor that was in between here, which is the 15 ohm resistor. So we are just going to have that as a, a single resistor here. So that is our 15 ohm resistor representing uh, the load resistor. And this is our RTEV in this case, our RTEV. Uh, remember, we got it here, our RTEV, which is uh, 8 comma. So that's 8 comma 4, 4, 4 ohms. And this is our ETF. Like I said, this is going to be our ETF. Okay, that is a VTEF or ETF. So here I've uh, used V. So that's our VTEF in this case, or ETF, of which that is a uh, one comma. So remember the answer that we got, which is one comma one 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 uh, volts. So with this information, what we need is to calculate the current flowing. Remember our question was to calculate the current flowing the 15 ohm resistor, which was given as i3 from our diagram they wrote this as i3 so we need to calculate i3 that is the cu current across the 15 ohm resistor but now this is a series circuit that we are having so by having a series circuit we understand that the current flowing is the same that is the total current from the circuit is the same as the current across the 15 ohm resistor so using this idea we are going to say the total current is equal to i3 which is the current across the, the 15 ohm resistor. So this is going to be given by the formula uh, that is VTEF over, we add the resistors since they are in series. So we're going to add RTEF and RL. So that is RTEF plus RL. So that is going to give us the current across uh, the 15 ohm resistor, which is a load resistor, the one that was given is I3. So I3 is going to be VTEF, which is going to be 1, 1, 1. So that is what you're going to have. Then we divide by the resistances. All right, so that's silly. Yes, we're gonna have uh, 8, 4, 4, 4, plus our RL in this case, which is uh, 15. All right, so we can uh, combine this part together. That is the current across 
the three ohm resist i mean the 15 ohm resistor which is given as i3 that is going to be something like uh, 0, uh, 0, 0,047 uh, three eight like that, which is going to be zero four seven two three decimal places, depending with the degree of accuracy that you're going to use at the end. So that is how you can calculate uh the current uh, across any resistor, uh especially the this one that is uh, in the middle part uh of our bridge using the Thevenin's uh theorem. What you need is to find your VTEV from the branches of A from the point A and B. That is from the root AC and BC. Then also to calculate your RTF when you short uh, the voltage source, you can calculate your RTF. Uh, that is how you can actually apply this concept. Okay, guys, that's it from Mason African Motives, working on industrial electronics and for uh, till we meet again.